Good morning, everyone. The committee will come to order. I apologize for the delayed start, uh, but hopefully we will have an opportunity to hear from the secretary uh, and, and learn of the uh, president's views for the Department uh, of Energy. Secretary Perry, I want to welcome you to your first hearing following your bipartisan confirmation here in the Senate. Um, well, it took us a little bit longer than we had hoped to get you in this role. We're glad to have you at the helm. Uh, we look forward to helping you get a full complement of folks uh, there at the Department as well. The budget request for the Department of Energy takes a different approach this year than we've seen in the recent past. The President has made a concerted effort to increase funding for the National Nuclear Security Administration to focus on our nuclear weapons program. This is a portion of the Department that falls outside the scope of our committee here. The Administration has also requested robust funding for the cleanup of nuclear waste left behind by our country's Cold War legacy. To offset those funding increases, the budget request proposes deep cuts to research and development for energy and science. It also proposes to phase out innovative programs such as RPE that have had demonstrated success. I understand what drove this proposal, but I'm also concerned by certain parts of it. The United States is the world leader in science and energy. We like it that way. We want to keep it that way. And at the core of that excellence is the work done at our national labs and universities by the men and women who dedicate their careers to furthering science. Members on both sides of this committee want to maintain and strengthen that leadership. And so we need to be careful that we don't get in the way of the good work or the proper role of the private sector. But keeping that in mind, many of us have found good bipartisan opportunities where it makes sense to increase funding for R&D. I appreciate the need to derive savings and balance our budget, but that cannot come at the expense of our efforts on energy innovation. Good science should not sit on a shelf, and the department should continue to push the limits of science in order to ensure that the next generation of energy technologies is developed here in this country. Although I do not support all of the proposals in this budget request, I believe that we do have some areas of agreement here. I also believe we can undertake reforms at the department to help save taxpayer dollars. Our work on the loan guarantee on the loan programs is a good example, I think, of how that can work. My goal for the Department of Energy is to drive down the costs of emerging pre-commercial technologies to make energy more affordable, reliable, clean, diverse, and secure. Take you back to Energy 2020. Those principles haven't changed. And this is particularly important for Alaska, where our energy costs are orders of magnitude above those in the lower 48. So Secretary Perry, again, thank you for being here this morning. I hope to, uh, to be able to host you up in the state soon. I know that you've made similar commitments to, to, to colleagues uh, in, in the Congress here. Uh, look forward to, to hearing your priorities outlined before the committee this morning. And I turn to our ranking member, Senator Cantwell. Thank you.